My name is Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> she may not be a household name yet, but hosting Saturday Night Live certainly ups that name recognition. You might have seen me in anyone but you or Euphoria. You. And Sydney could have included another big title, The White Lotus. You definitely did not see me in Madam Web. <laughs> The Sony Marvel release has made $80 million worldwide in 18 days. So some people have seen it. But yeah, more people have seen a rom-com that has made $200 million in 71 days. The craziest rumor I've seen is that while I was filming Anyone But You, I was having an affair with my co-star Glenn Powell. That's obviously not true. <laughs> that dead silence from the audience tells us, Sydney, it wasn't obvious that it wasn't true. <laughs> Last June, six months before the movie came out, Sydney first addressed the rumors with Australia's The Age, saying, We filmed a romantic comedy, so of course people see what they want to see. And Sydney added last night, There was another set of eyes on set. Scene. Me and my fiancé produced the movie together, and he was there the entire shoot. In December, Sydney told Glamour UK that the rumors of an affair were very hard on Glenn, which makes me sad, because otherwise it was such a beautiful experience for both of us. I care for him so much. But she cares about her fiance more. He's the man of my dreams. And we're still together and stronger than ever. Glenn demonstrated to men's health in December that he's stronger than ever. But when it comes to those accusations of an affair, Glenn says, it felt disorienting and unfair. But what I'm realizing is that it's just part of the gig now. It is. And after Glenn revealed to Variety last Saturday night at the Screen Actors Guild Awards that he and Sydney want to become cinema's latest rom-com fixture pair like Tom and Meg or George and Julia and not Brad and Angelina. You know, that's the plan is like when you find somebody that you really jive with and, and, and who, I mean, Sydney is so easy to work with and so fun. I mean, we're definitely trying to find the next thing. That means they are inseparable, whether Sydney's fiance likes it or not. He even came here tonight to support me. Can we uh, cut to him? <laughs> yeah, Glenn was there to cheer on his co-star and someone else was there to cheer on Sydney too. I would just not address this anymore, guys. <laughs> just leave it alone. Especially when Sydney told The Age in June, it just proves that we're great actors. When are you being great actors? Now or then or then or? Oof. Yeah, leave it alone. <laughs> but no, Sydney was great in SNL. What'd you think? <laughs>